Do you have a data model like this where you have actual values and plan values in separate tables? Then you should combine them into one compact facts table. And of course there's different ways to do this. Today I'm going to show you how you can do it using Power Query Editor. But before we start, let's see what we have in a data model right now. So basically there is three lookup tables. There's a calendar table, a business units table and a products table. And then below there is two facts tables, one containing the actuals data and the other one containing the budget or the plan data. And my goal is to get rid of the plan data and load the plan data also into the actuals table. Also what you can see is that the plan table and the actuals table don't have the same number of columns. And this is due to the fact that um, the planning was done on a different granularity. So we didn't plan products. This is why the product ID column, which is available in the actuals, is simply not there for plan. But nevertheless, we can combine these two tables into one. Okay, let's open up Power Query Editor and see what we have in here. Basically, we want to merge the data from this table into this table. What we need to do first is we need to add an additional column to each of these two tables in order to still be able to distinguish if a row is actuals or plan once it has been merged into one facts table. Okay, to do this you go to add column and then we want to add a custom column and let's call it scenario. So I named this one scenario and basically because I'm now in the actuals table I want to have the word AC in every row. So this should be AC and of course I need to write it like this and when I confirm with OK I get an additional column which shows AC for each of the rows. Let's do the same for the plan data. So I move over to the plan table and again in add column I want to add a custom column and of course this also needs to be called scenario otherwise I can't append the queries into one. So this is also called scenario and this time I want to call it PL for plan. Okay. I get an additional column showing PL in every single row. What I can do now is I can really merge the two tables into one. There's different ways you can do it. You could really load one data table into the other one or you could load both of them into one brand new table. I'm going to just load the plan data into the actuals table. So I'm in the actuals table and on the home tab I want to append Hand queries. When I click on it, I can then select which additional table should be added to the actuals data. And of course, this is the plan table. I confirm with OK. And now this table actually contains also plan data. You, we can see there's an additional step <coughs> in the query. And also when I go on the filter and say load more, we will see that now I actually have AC and PL. Now what we want to do is of course we want to rename the table because it shouldn't be called actuals only, it should be called something like actuals and plan. And also because we don't need the plan table anymore, we need to make sure that it's not loaded into the data model anymore. So let's go over to the plan table right click and then we want to disable the option called enable load which means that the table still exists because we still need the table in Power Query Editor but we don't want to load it into Power BI Desktop. We get a warning because in case we are already working with this table, let's say we already created measures based on this table, of course these measures wouldn't work anymore but we're starting off with a brand new report so there isn't any um, possible data loss so we can just click continue and now when I click on 
close and apply. This plan table down here will disappear because we disabled the load and the actuals table will have a new name being called apply changes. That's it. Now I have a proper data model with only one facts table and this is basically what you always want to achieve because this is now a proper star schema and actually there is also an article about how to set up a star schema in the Zebra BI knowledge base. Um, please make sure to look at it, it's quite important. As always you can download this file from the, from the Zebra BI knowledge base and make sure to check out all the other videos and articles to get more Power BI tips and tricks.